Hello everyone, so I'm going to go for my review on the Dinka Postlude with the price of $982,000. Uh, not really that expensive, but still, still a bit of money here, so it's okay so far. The top speed and acceleration on this vehicle is okay overall. The acceleration is... Mm, it's not the greatest in the world, but it's fine, I guess, for what vehicle it is. But top speed, yes, I guess for what it is as well, yet again, I guess you could say it's good. It's nothing amazing, but yeah, I don't know. It's a small vehicle, you know it's not really going to be that fast from it, but still, it's okay overall, but nothing amazing. Brakes on this vehicle, it's nothing amazing what vehicle it is. I say it's more than enough, I'd say. Maybe you could have a tiny bit more, but if not, it's more than enough anyway for what it is. But you know, that it'll do for this vehicle. It's nothing amazing, but as long as it stays in the line, it's good really, generally. Going off road with this vehicle is actually really good, definitely really good. Just don't take it off like you know on bumps or whatever, as long as you don't do that off road it'll just handle no problem. I tried to move it side to side then it didn't spin out, so maybe very rarely times it'll, it will, average it just won't. The handling on this vehicle, it's it's not great. It's one of those vehicles, I'd say, in my opinion, you should really put a spoiler on it. If not, it kind of handles really bad. So if you can, at least put like even a tiny little spoiler on it or something. Just it'll go a long way for this vehicle. If if you can, though, put the top one on it, the performance one, and you'll get the best out of it. But still, even that, it's nothing amazing. But at least it's enough to do normal racing, like street racing, if you could, if you wanted to, you know, just tap the brakes and all that. Likes to drift now and again a little bit so that could be really good for some people if they're used to that then this is definitely a good vehicle for that turn no problem but yeah overall it's okay it's probably good great maybe great if you drift even how to drift but still nothing amazing but definitely put a spoiler on it and you should be fine really okay so now we're gonna customize the vehicle here so there's many different options for this vehicle, which is very nice. I like those vehicles in the game where it has many different options, and especially when they're different from each other. And the majority of them here on this vehicle are different from each other, if you know what I mean. They're not like similar looking bumpers or whatever, for example, if you know what I mean. So it's nice to see, and yeah, majority of them is really good. I'm actually, something really unique in this vehicle, which you'll see, like you see the spoilers though. You know, they're, they're similar, but they're different from each other. They're, they're different from each other, but they're no, you know, nothing amazing. But like, oh my god, exhaust though, look at this. Wow, it, I just love that. Like the last three here, like it's so unique, I love it. Like the star you got, the love heart. It, it's just like, oh my god, it's so good, I love it. Like I'm gonna have to equip the star one eventually or something, it's so good. I don't know why, but it's just so unique that I like that, it's just so cool. But either way, either way, it's still it's got different many customization options, many different for each other yet again. But yeah, it's nice to see. You can get a sporty look if you're really into that. You can have it a bit sporty if you want. You can customise it inside as well if you want it sporty looking as well. Because that's what it's about sometimes, if you want it to be like that. But yeah, it's just got it all. If you want to make it look like a normal vehicle, you can. If you want it sporty, you can. You know, we have a little bit of both, you know. Maybe an inside you want it sporty or an outside, you know, an inside normal. You know, all that. So, you know, there's so many options here. And I like to see that. It's good to see. Really, really, really good to see. So yeah, definitely, um, it's good to check out this vehicle. I'm actually happy with this overall on the customization on here. I love it. Liveries are really nice to see as well. Really nice. Nothing amazing in some of them. Maybe like the quarter of them. It's nothing amazing, but over that, it's like, yeah, you know, it starts to get interesting, you know, which is, you know, the boring stuff is at the bottom, but the interesting is near the middle on top, and it's like, oh man, yeah. It's good to see. Good to see. But yeah, either way all these options here and you can customize the color there as well for the exhaust pipe i don't know why but that's a nice little detail i guess so that's nice but yeah for some reason you can have the tires on top of this vehicle if there's a reason behind that viewers let me know but i don't know if that's like a reference or something like that because if not I, I don't know why they've done that but i'm sure it's like a reference to something or you know or to the vehicle itself you know what i mean but let me know in the comments below yet again if you do because i have no idea on that one but either way, spoilers, definitely put the performance on, like I said, on the handling, if you can. But if not, any, any, just quip any on and it'll go a long way. So I'd like to give my final thoughts on this vehicle, but the main question, is it worth it? Yes, I think so. For $982,000, I think it's worth it. If you're big into customization options though, if you like to customize into vehicles, this is a great vehicle to look at. But if you're talking about performance and all that, then no, I don't think so but it's telling which kind of person you are but generally i think so 
even it's still the performance is all decent it's fine it's nothing amazing but it's like a retro vehicle at the end of the day so it's not going to be the best but at this time it was you know and all that kind of stuff but it's still best in customization options you know still good to see on that one though but yeah either way i i definitely think it's worth it if it's ever on offer less than like seven hundred thousand dollars or something or even around that i think it's even more worth it at that point but yeah it's great collector's vehicle especially if you're into retro vehicles all that kind of stuff this is a good vehicle to look at i'd say definitely for sure but that's how i look at it just performance not really but customization options yes i definitely recommend it for that but yeah that's how i look at it anyway so i hope this video helped though if it did make sure to give this video a like if you're new here maybe subscribe is up to you if not check out the playlist here reviews or tutorials you never know scroll through something might be there if not thank you for watching this video everyone